Great. Hello, everyone. Uh, we're just going to give uh, everybody a minute to join, and then uh, we'll start the presentation. Yeah, people are starting to join now. Great. Give it another, give it a minute and then I'll uh, start the intro. Great. So, Good morning and welcome to uh, well to everybody joining us today um, for the Sonic Wall presentation. Uh, they're going to be presenting a really insightful look into the cyber threat uh, mid-year update report. Uh, I'll uh, shortly be handing over to uh, Piotr Benkowski. He's the solutions engineer at Sonic Wall. I just hope I got the name right. You've got it uh, to you, right. <laughs> fantastic. Uh, before we get started, just a couple of quick reminders. Uh, please do use the poll functions uh, to the right of your viewing pane. Just ask any questions you have. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll pick up all the Q&As at the end. Uh, and if you haven't already, you can just click on the theater mode button under your viewing pane and you can watch it in full screen and uh, just have a better viewing experience. So with that, I'm just going to turn off my camera and then I'm just going to hand it over to Piotr. Thank you very much, Will. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Piotr Binkowski. I am solution engineer uh, from SonicWall. Um, very happy to be here. Thank you very much, uh, Program, for, uh, for the invite. Um, what I'm going to present to you is a mid year cyber threat report uh, from SonicWall. Uh, so, our researchers compiled their findings into the report for various types and sizes of organizations. Uh, now, you know, this and last year was a little bit different because of, of pandemic. We were unable to really feel that, that we could collect the data the same way uh, because people were now working from home and, and pulling less data through the um, firewall via VPN. Uh, as a Sonic Wall, we are located via our customers in 215 countries and territories with over 1.1 million sensors, like email security, firewalls, secure mobile access. And um, this way, we're able to gather tons and tons of data that comes back to us every single year. Uh, we are expressing very, very kind of mild word of caution when it comes to analyzing those results. Um, you know, in the end of the day, when it comes to, to the partners, we don't necessarily have to know what has just happened or, or really um, have to know what comes next. Uh, so you know that, that you've, you have to trust someone to protect you against those threats and attacks, and, and, and that's, that's our Sonic Wall's um, job. So overall, uh, when it comes to this um, report, we've got six key findings. Uh, one is that the ransomware is, is running rampant. Uh, crypto jacking is being driven by cryptocurrency prices. Uh, deep memory inspection is funding more than, than before. And I believe that we are in the more targeted environment. And, and you know, I'll, I'll try to explain that up later. Uh, we'll also share that, that as well, uh, IoT malware, of course, is, is skyrocketing. So if we look at, at uh, the numbers, um, you'll see the malware attacks um, are going down. But apart from that, intrusion attempts, crypto jacking, encrypted threats, and IoT attacks going up, and, and as I've mentioned, ransomware is just, just going, going crazy. So uh, if we look at um, <clears throat> malware, in 2020, Malware spread spiked dramatically in March across every single region, likely as a result of COVID-19 pandemic. In 2020, Sonico recorded 5.6 billion malware attempts, a six-year low, and so far in 2021, it has fallen even further. So Sonico capture lab threat researchers recorded just 
2.5 billion malware attempts in the first six months of this year, uh, down from 3.2 million at this time last year, which is decrease of 22%. However, less malware isn't the same as less cybercrime. So um, instead, it's a sign that the traditional malware associated with spray and prey attacks uh, of yesterday is, is, is being abandoned. And it's usually in favor of more specialized, more sophisticated and more targeted attacks, which is capable of, of, of making criminals much more money and leaving much more devastation in, in their path. So we are seeing a rise in ransomware, which shows you that, that more hacking crews are getting involved. So if you think about that, even, even these younger teens, 13, 17 uh, years old, are now trying to build their own ransomware um, so that you know, they can also maybe earn some money for, for themselves. Uh, some of them treat it just like a game uh, and just trying to have fun and, and the, money, the money doesn't really mean anything uh, to them at that point of, of their life. So uh, again, everyone is getting involved. Ransomware is thing that, that you have to protect against and it's, it's every IT admin's nightmare. So all in all, ransomware for, for the first half of this year is up staggering 151% over the same time period in 2020. And while Q1 was worrying, Q2 was a lot worse, going into spring ransomware jump from 115 million to 188 million, enough to make quarter two the worst quarter for ransomware Sony Call has ever, ever recorded. And while Q2 was recording the record setting in, in its own, uh, every month during the quarter set new records. Um, so after rising to a new high in April, ransomware rose again in May. <clears throat> That's another increase in June. During that month, um, Sony Quo recorded 78 million ransomware attempts, more than entire second quarter of, of 2020, and nearly half the total number of attacks for the year in 2019. So who are the biggest threats? Uh, for the first half of 2021, the top three ransomware families by volume were Ryuk, Kerber, and Samsam. Um, if we look at, at Ryuk only, it was first identified in August 2018, uh, it, it, and it had really incredibly uh, slow start. However, in 2019, Sonicore recorded 5,000 cases of Ryuk uh, worldwide uh, for all the year. So even as late as January 2020, uh, Ryuk didn't appear outside North America, Europe, or Asia. Uh, but at the time, at the time, researchers noted um, only 41 cases uh, in total. So uh, a little more uh, than one case of Ryuk a day in the entire world. Uh, by February 2020, there were more than 16,000 times as many. In September 2020, Sonic Wall researchers noted record 19 million cases of Ryuk. So equivalent of nearly eight cases of, of Ryuk each second. And by June 2021, it was number one ransomware, Kerben, Samsung were number twos and number um, three. So given that current trajectory of, of Ryuk going into second half of 2021, we expect to see the number of, of Ryuk incidents um, continues, uh, continue to rise. And by overwhelming margin, the most commonly targeted industry in 2021 was government. Um, and so far, the attacks have risen to three times last year high point. Uh, each month in 2021, uh, there have been more hits on government customers than any other industry. And by June, government customers were getting hit with roughly 10 times more ransomware attempts than average. Um, and with, when, when it comes to the percentage of customers getting hit with ransomware attempts, the data is a bit more mixed. Government customers are still seeing higher than average number of ransomware attempts, but you know, three out of six months during the first half of 2021, education customers saw even more. And <clears throat> when you take a look at, at the new forms of malware that are being developed and pushed out um, in, in the world today, you'll see that they rose by 54%. So if we live in that environment where we see more malware overall um, dropping, but new variants rising, this shows that, that the attackers are, are finding uh, where they are 
vulnerabilities first. So then, then they are crafting malware to go after that or developing the new forms of malware to go after new vulnerabilities much more than, than before. So Sony calls technology called RTDMI, which means real-time deep memory inspection. That's part of Capture ATP, um, which, which takes a look at the uh, memory of the system to see what code or file wants to do uh, within memory. And so that we can't try to stop unknown and never before seen um, attacks on customer networks. So of course, there is going to be a natural rise as we gain more visibility. Uh, you see those large spikes in Q2 and Q4 last year. Um, that shows that, that we are entering a very much targeted um, realm when people are going after specific targets or, or weaknesses. Now, again, a lot of people will say, I'm probably too small to be attacked. I'm, I'm not worthy to be attacked. But the answer is that, that every, uh, that, that very much not true. Targeted attacks, I mean, you know, instead of just spraying everybody with the same email, with, with same infected attachment, we're seeing people now using other services that are built, they, they build themselves. And they, they will try to start pinging servers, try to start pinging IP address ranges. And once they, they find a weakness or once they find their uh, way in, then um, they target that organization and they try to launch malware attacks against it, uh, which, you know, what I mean by a more targeted environment versus, versus spray and prey environments. And now this is something um, that's, that's even more interesting. Cryptojacking has come back. Uh, so, you know, the, in the past, CoinHive was, was a thing, really. So um, it was something which you, put on, on the web page, it was weaponized, turned into malware, and then people started posting it everywhere and blasting and, and making their own uh, botnets, um, you know, turning out uh, cryptocurrency uh, for the end user or, or for the administrator, the one who, who launched the um, cyber attack. As cryptocurrency prices go up, so, so goes cryptojacking. And um, crypto prices reaching the stratosphere in the first half of 2021. Um, Sony Call recorded higher volume of crypto jacking in Q1 than any other since it began reporting those attacks in 2018. This unusually high numbers of crypto jacking uh, at the beginning of the year pushed the total attacks for the first six months of 2021 to 51.5 million increase of 23% over the first half of 2020. So that being said, crypto jacking is back and it's going to um, ruin your devices and, and servers if you don't pay attention to, to, to it and then to vulnerabilities which may be um, on them. <clears throat> Excuse me, IoT malware um, shown the um, continued growth since 2018, but in the first half of 2021, um, these attacks have increased even faster. IoT attacks volume in the first six months of 2021 rose 59% over the first six months of 2020, a period that itself showed 50% increase over the same time in 2019. In all, 32.2 million IoT attacks have been recorded so far this year compared to 20.2 million during uh, that time. Uh, so, you know, with 41 billion IoT devices projected to be online by 2027 and with nearly three quarters of enterprises reporting um, either full or trial um, IoT deployments, the cyber criminals are looking really uh, to, to exploit it. So um, we need to look at, at trying to patch our devices, uh, keep, them, keep them safe. Uh, so uh, in 2020, Sony Call Capture Labs, uh, in researchers saw the percentage of attacks across non-standard ports uh, grow from 2019's 10% to 25% in 2020. Um, in July, 46% of malware attacks came via non-standard ports, the highest level Sony Call uh, began tracking uh, those attacks. Um, so, if you'd like to see that report, please go to um, sonicwall.com slash threat report. Uh, you can find the um, half year report. Uh, you can go through it. Uh, but yeah, keep, keep an eye on, on Sonicwall website. We are, we are uh, posting those reports uh, on yearly basis, full year reports and, and every six months. 
um, as a half year reports. Uh, that's it from me. Um, thank you very much um, for listening. I hope it was uh, informative. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you so much, Peter, for that. I gained a lot of insights from that cybersecurity report, and I'm sure our audience did too. Uh, just uh, there's a couple of questions that uh, we can uh, answer. If anybody else has any questions, they can just pop them into the chat or into our poll uh, where you can uh, ask any questions. We do have a few minutes, so we'll just answer a couple of quick questions if that's right with you, Peter. Thank you. Uh, so one of the questions, uh, what cyber attack should we be expecting more of in 2021? I think it, it will continue as it is at the moment. So, so uh, really, you know, ransomware where, where, where the companies are being hit with it. Uh, that's where um, ATP groups are um, getting money from. Um, that's where government or certain countries, I'm not going to, <laughs> to, to mention the, the names of the countries, mm -hmm. everybody knows. Uh, that's where they're getting money from. And, and, and I think that's the, that's the easiest one. Well, maybe not the easiest, but, but most popular. And I think that will continue. That will definitely continue um, this way as it is. So it will be targeted attacks, as I've mentioned in the presentations. Um, they will be choosing exactly what company they want, what, what vulnerability they want, uh, which you can hear from time to time being, being attacks on exchange and, 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 and so on. Mm. Uh, so I think that will, be, that will still be, unfortunately, the way how it goes. Understood. And the other question is, when is the new cybersecurity report coming out? Okay. So, um, Every year, um, January, early February, we'll have new 2022 uh, full year report. Uh, and um, on half yearly basis around June, uh, this okay. is, is, is a half year report. So, so let's, we'll be expecting new one um, around January, February next, next year. Great, fantastic. Well, uh, with that, we'll, uh, we'll wrap up the session here. But we're keeping up the pace around here. So with the next two agendas due to start in five minutes or so, uh, you can head back to the agendas uh, and because we have a presentation and a panel discussion for you to choose from. But with that, I really want to uh, say thank you to you, Piotr. That was really insightful. Thank you, Will. And thank I appreciate you, everybody. everybody for attending today. You have a nice have day. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.